save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more. Oh, whoa. Hey, how's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. We're gonna have a fantastic episode today. So just a couple things happened before I was really recording. I guess I was recording, but before I was really starting the episode, I wanted to do a couple errands and those are uh, upgrading some armor. I know it's kind of boring to watch the upgrading the armor so I did that off uh, camera but if you're interested I upgraded my Zora armor. I upgraded the uh, stealth set. I think they're all three star now. Pretty cool. And then I upgraded the ancient helmet to level three so now the full ancient set is level three. We can get to level four but I need more uh, parts. And then I also upgraded the Zora set all the way to level 3 as well. So, that's about it for the upgrades. And then I went ahead and summoned some amiibos. There's only like one or two more items that I actually want from amiibos. And I need the Fierce Deity helmet. And not much else to be honest. I have multiple caps of Twilight, multiple tunics of Twilight. Like, I just need to uh, sell some of that bonus stuff, but... So you might be wondering, why are we in the desert? And honestly, there's no reason. I just wanted to visit the desert again, because... I don't know. Uh, it, it's a place that I like to go, because once you've done everything in the desert, there's really not a reason to come back, but... I just like it here, so we're just gonna go up, take a look. Um, but yeah, what, what we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to look for the remaining four memories. Sadly, none of which are in the desert. There's, I don't even think, no, there is one memory in the desert. It's probably actually the, a lot of people's first memory that they ever find. And that's in the, uh, Car Car Bazaar. There's a memory that's like right by the road. Really, really hard to miss if you're coming to Gerudo Town from this road. Anyways, let's take a look at the remaining four pictures. So I have this one. It's like a, uh, a little shrine or a little fountain in a, in a little watery place. Then we have the horse statue. And then we have the gate. And finally we have the little spot in the forest. And I happen to know where all of these are because I've done them in the past. So I marked them on my map. But we still have to get to the locations. Some of them are kind of remote. So let's see. Uh, the first one that we want to do... Uh... This one, I think, is somewhere up here. I marked it. I don't remember exactly. Oh, yeah. it might. I think it's this one right over here. So, hmm, how should we get there? We could just fly down from Death Mountain, or we could fly down from the Akala region. Uh, let's just head over to the stables, and then we'll, fly, we'll, we'll head on over to that spot. After we find these four memories... Then we have to go back to Impa, and Impa will tell us the location of the final memory. So actually there's five memories left, and I know where all of them are. It's just a matter of getting to them and watching to watching the, uh, the cutscenes, which may take the full length of this episode. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. Uh, I don't really think I need to buy or sell. That's actually, I always check for arrows. You got arrows? Uh, no you don't. The hardy radishes are actually nice. I'll take I'll take both of those. Oh. Alright, thanks, Beetle. <laughs> now, let's see. I need to just go straight west, basically. I would take Cookie, but I think we're going to have to jump down a cliff, and I don't think Cookie would like that very much. Alright, I think it's down here. Actually, I guess we could have taken Cookie. There we go. There it is. If 
before we hop on down there, take a look at this place, man. This is pretty cool. There's like river flowing around here, and then there's... I don't know where the water source is, but... Hey, we found a Korok! <laughs> oh, I didn't even think there would be one there. I, I thought it'd be like a restless cricket or something. That's funny. Anyways. Bada bing, bada boom. We found a memory. Time to sit back and watch the show. I don't remember which memory this is, so this will be fun. Actually, I, I might, I kind of have an idea. No spoilers. Let's just sit back and watch. I come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet... Grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear... or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again he always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? So you see there a little bit of Zelda's frustrations at unlocking the power within her. She feels like the gods are not listening to her. Anyways, I thought it was pretty cool how Link was like standing guard while she prayed. Link is such a good bodyguard. While we're here, I think we have to offer like a scale or something. Maybe I already did. You have done well to find this spring. Offer Dinral scale. Alright, I don't actually know if I have Dinral scale. Let me check. Um, I don't remember where to find the scales. I always lose them. I do! I have Dinral scale. Okay. <laughs> I mean, of course I do. Well, guys, looks like we're getting a shrine in this episode, too. Getting memories, getting shrines. Oh, yeah. The path has showed itself. Now go forth. Your path. Thank you. Actually, do I even have enough spirit? I probably don't. Let me do the shrine first, and then I might have four spirit orbs. My shrine sensor's going off. <laughs> Tatsuwa Nima Shrine. Alright, for sure it's not a blessing, right? I feel like all we do is get blessings, like... That's one of the biggest weaknesses of the game. There should be no blessings in shrines. Every- or if it is a blessing, it still has to be like some kind of... Trial. Or puzzle. Ooh! Alright, alright, alright. Do I have any... Ancient weapons? I do not. I was going to do my full ancient set with the ancient proficiency. Well, I'm about to get some ancient weapons, so let's use some weapons that I just want to use up. Um, dang. Also, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys... <laughs> I'll probably show it at the beginning of the episode, but I did get the big Goron sword from an amiibo. It's pretty awesome. Whoa, big Goron sword. A legendary greatsword forged by a Goron craftsman for a hero who traveled through time. The exceptionally sharp cutting edge is a testament to the craftsman's mastery. Uh, I'll use... Dang, I got a lot of really good weapons here. 
a lot of really good weapons. I'll use this this uh, for the shield. I do have a guardian shield. I'll just use this. And for the bow... Why do I have a... That... That... No, 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 no. Get... I don't even want that in my inventory. Alright. Major test of strength, huh? Really? I'm pretty sure even fighting Ganon at this point would not be a very good test of my strength. Let alone these little guardian boys. At least I'm gonna get some cool weapons out of it. <laughs> My turn. That's alright, I need to break a few weapons, so uh, it is what it is. Oh man, I have so many good weapons I don't really want to break though. Miss me. Oh yeah, this one's got a lot of durability. Spin the wind, spin the wind. You're doing hardly any damage to me, bud. So much stamina. I do have a lot of shock arrows. Goodbye. Major test of strength. Major easy. Alright, I gotta drop one of these shields. I do like the guardian stuff just because they look cool. Oh wow, I have a lot of good shields. The guardian sword I want to take as well because I need at least a couple guardian weapons for when I'm actually fighting guardians. Um... I don't need three shock weapons. I'll drop the uh, the great thunder blade. Kind of a shame, but I already got the thunder spear and the thunder sword, and they're both way better than the two-handed weapon because of how slow it is. So I'll leave it there for the next hero. And what do we get? Ancient core, a flame spear. Okay, I don't really need that either. <sighs> um. Well, I guess instead of the Thunder Spear, I'm going to get a Flame Spear. We'll swap it out. Alright. It doesn't really matter. If I want more elemental weapons, we already know that I can just go to the Colosseum and they're literally just full of elemental weapons every time a Blood Moon happens, probably so. Knowing that, the Thunder Spear is not as rare. Okay, I only got three Spirit Orbs. All right, we got the shrine. Unexpected shrine. Didn't didn't even intend to really be getting any shrines in this episode, but hey, I'll take it. And we got three more memories, and then the final memory. So four more four more memories. All right. So let's see where the next memory is. Ah, yes, the the the, the horse statue. So. Delete that. The horse statue is way over here. Wait. Cookie, what are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, man. Well, this is actually kind of on the way, so let's go see what Cookie's doing. And, uh... <laughs> Cookie's uh, on a pilgrimage. On Satori Mountain. Right where we left him, actually. Probably sleeping. There is a Hinox nearby as well. The Stalnox, actually. And when we uh, beat the the Bone Hinox or Stalnox, whatever it's called. Look at that crow right on my, my shrine. 
No, 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 this is my shrine. I never want to see you on this again. Yeah, the rest of you too. Anyways, a blood moon happened, and uh, I forgot to go kill him again, so let's just go kill him now. Yep, he's there again. Perfect, because I do need Hinox parts for upgrading certain weapons and whatnot. Hey, big boy. Wait. Is he only awake at night? Really? That's actually pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna sit until night. Wake this big boy up. That is pretty cool. It makes sense. The bone, the bone guys only attack you at night. Okay, and uh, I should probably change out my armor. I don't really need to be wearing this, so let's do, let's do something. Level three attack. Nah, that doesn't look cool. There we go. The earrings. All right, big boy. I know you're awake now, right? No? Maybe if I like walk away a little bit, then walk back. Ooh. Oh man. Go, Rivali. That's not gonna cut it. All right, that's definitely not gonna cut it. I should have timed that a little better or lined it up. This thing seems to last forever, though. We got plenty of time. We're not even halfway. Long, long leaf boy. All right, now if we go back, ooh, check it out. We found hardy dirty durians. These are actually hard to find, and they are really good. We found a little grove. Good to know. So there's hardy durians next to the Stelnox. I'll remember that. We can just grab these whenever we want. Bunch of them, too. These will give us bonus hearts if we cook them. They're very, very, very good. Alright. I missed one. Maybe I can just hit the tree. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, now let's uh, go back. And this time, he'll be awake, right? He is! He woke up! Awesome! Hey, big boy. That hurt, didn't it? Oh yeah, I know it hurt. Wolf leg! Wolf Lake? Wolf Lake? You don't want to fight? You don't want to help? Okay. That is a great picture. He was gonna pull his own bone out. I gotta knock the eye out. He just ripped his own rib cage out. There it is. He did. He did have that sword over there, but I don't really care about the sword. I just want the Hinox parts. Ooh, a flame blade. Does it have like bonus attack now? Another giant boomerang. One he knocks two. That's all I got. Wow. I don't even know if it was worth it. Well, I got two giant boomerangs now. That's pretty cool. Wow. I've never had two at once. All right. I'm getting distracted. We need to go east. Cookie, what are you doing? What are you doing over there, Cookie? Let's go see what Cookie is doing real quick. Then I will go east. I just want to see. Cookie, where are you? 
Oh, there you are, Cookie. You were right here watching me fight this whole time. What a good horse. All right. You were just hiding right here waiting for me, weren't you? All right, Cookie. Uh, I actually don't need you right now, so... You can just chill right here, and I'll be back for you another time, okay? Line it up, line it up, go. Nope. Link turns really slow in the air. That one definitely won't work. Oh, there's some horses down there. I bet you there's a Lionel down here too, just because it's a big open field. Although I don't see one. There we go. That boost was exactly what I needed. It was literally perfect. And what do you know? We found the memory. Sit back, relax, and watch memory number 10. I don't remember this one at all. Be sure to take the time to soothe your mind. That's the only way it will know how you truly feel. Your advice was quite helpful, thank you. Link you actually said, said that? Along quite well now. At first, I wasn't sure if I should outfit him with all of the royal gear. I thought maybe he should have to earn it first. But it works. He wears it like a true natural. I'm trying to be a bit more empathetic. Benefit of the doubt, you know? See that mountain? That's Mount Lanero. It takes its name from the goddess of wisdom. Lanero's decree is very specific. It says no one is allowed under the age of 17. For only the wise are permitted a place upon the mountain. Wow. I've prayed at the spring of courage and at the spring of power, yet neither awoke anything inside me. But maybe up there, perhaps the spring of wisdom, the final of the three, will be the one. To be honest, I have no real reason to think that will be the case. But there's always the chance that the next moment will change everything. Tomorrow is my 17th birthday. So then I shall go and make my way up the mountain. There you go. Now you know how old Zelda is and also probably how old Link is. He looks about the same. So they're probably both about 16. <clears throat> Link might be a little older. He's he pretty strong looking for a 16-year-old. Um, Alright, so... Awesome. What a view. This is actually an epic view. In fact, I like this view so much. I'm going to put my travel gate here. All right, we still got time to look for some more memories, so let's see. Um, memory number 11. This one is the gate. All right, I know where that one is. Oops. We need to go way over here. We could just uh, hop at the Spring of Wisdom and fly down. Seeing as she was just talking about that, why don't we do that? Let's go to the Spring of Wisdom and fly down. This is the uh, spring that Zelda was just talking about where she wants to pray and hopefully it will unlock her final memory or i mean <laughs> hopefully it'll unlock her secret hidden p power of the triforce or whatever jitan sami shrine 
Ooh, it's cold up here, but come on, like, come, come, come. All right, I guess it's a little bit too cold for what I'm wearing, so Link, Link is not happy. All right, so I need to go west, actually. Ooh, we gotta go way up and over. Let's go all the way up the mountain. I don't slip on ice, but I slip on uh, when it rains. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. The tippity top. The tippity top. And we're going right back down. Ooh, let's get the luminous stones first. Of course. Oops. Okay. Now we're going down. Wow, this is an epic fall. Some more luminous stones. I actually do need ice key swings and stuff, so and uh, ice ice lizard stuff. Don't really care to fight these dudes. Okay. I will take the the white shoe jelly though. See you guys. I don't really feel like fighting you right now. Forgot where I'm going. Oh yeah. West, west, west. Gotta go this way. See you guys. You're lucky I don't kill you. Wait, what is that way down there? It's a Korok. <laughs> He's just running around in the snow. There's some luminous stones behind him. Nope. Yeah, so Zelda has to go all the way up the mountain. That's a really, really high climb. That's all I'm gonna say. Really high climb. In the frozen wasteland, too. Oh man, I'm not even close. Cookie! I need you. We need speed. Actually, there's a Hinox right there. Cookie. We gotta fight that Hinox. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Dragon? I need your scale, dragon. Yes! Thank you! Whoa! Thank you! Why'd you shoot it so far though? The gate's right there. Okay, whatever. I need to get the Hinox too, but this is more important. Not every day I get to hit a scale off a dragon. That was epic. I knew the dragon like went on that route. I just didn't think... Oh! Did I walk right by a golden Lionel as well? So we got golden Lionel, we got Hinox, both like right in the same area. So go a Lionel I marked there, and then the Hinox was right here. I forget what I'm marking the Hinox with. Maybe... Uh, no, no, it was the arrow, the arrow, the bow and arrow. Yeah, because you shoot their eye. Alright, so dang, golden Lionel and a Hinox, cool. I don't really want to fight the Golden Lionel just because they take a long time. They take like 5-10 minutes to fight. But the Hinox, they're pretty fast to kill. So I'll go kill the Hinox. We'll kill the Golden Lionel at the, at the next episode maybe? I've already killed several of them, I mean it's not like it's... Hey fatty.
Oh, okay, I don't really want to be swimming when I fight him. Look at this. Or. We're gonna take a quick work of this guy. Like I said, quick work. I just want his parts. There we go. Roasted hearty bass. Right. There we go. There's some Hinox toenails and stuff. Guess I'll take the bow. Uh, the royal broadsword's actually probably really good sword. Um, I guess I don't need two giant boomerangs. I've been already damaging that one a lot, so we'll leave it there for the next guy. All right, now we'll go get the memory. I do kind of want to fight the golden uh, lino. I'm not gonna lie. He's so angry. What does he have? Does he have a... He, he's got a shield and a one-handed sword. He's got that bow. I do really want a 5x bow. But, nah, we'll get him next time. Let's go get the memory. Boom. Yeah, we're, we're running out of time on this episode, so I think this will be the last memory we watch. And then at the start of the next episode, we can knock out that golden Lionel, and then we'll go for the final memories. How's that sound? I think this is when uh, Zelda is actually going to Mount Lanayru, or she just came back or something. I don't think they're necessarily in order, so... Yeah, she's coming back. Well, don't keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? It didn't work. So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry now. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. I love After Herbosa. All, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that thing. Ganon himself? That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... Well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think... when I think about... <laughs> Too late. Ganon's here. Man, that purple lightning. He's here. This is it then. Are you sure? Positive. It's awake. Ganon. Let's stop wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine beasts, show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get to Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No. I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield. But there must. There must be something I can do to help. 
Oh man, that was such a good memory. Oh man, I love the memories in this game. All right, guys. Well, please drop a like if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoy the series. It really helps me out. Easy way for you to show your support. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode when we fight the Golden Lioness. Take it easy, guys.